Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to do an Amon Ket Remastered draft. Uh, so this is a event that's only available for like five days. So once again, once again, I'm going to try to cram as many drafts in as I can because I've collected none of this set. Now I did play in standard back in Amon Ket. This was like around the time, and we have to dra the draftsmith on. This was around the time, and we get a bunch of good stuff. Okay, uh, this was around the time that I'm going to pick Bond. Oh, that's Bantu's last reckoning. Destroy all creatures, lands you control. Don't untap during your next untap step. It's a little bit of an odd card. I remember this card. This was like a whole cycle of cards where like you got some like pretty strong effect given the cost, but then like your lands don't untap the following turn. We're gonna take it. We're gonna try it out. Seems like there's a lot of good cards in this bag. And like Kaladesh Remastered, I think this is Yeah, Afflict. That was an hour of devastation mechanic. Yes, yeah, so this is gonna be like a Amonkhet Hour of Devastation combined sort of thing. Uh, and I do have the Draftsmith active again uh, as sort of it, 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 it kind of uh, points you into like what would be, oh, Trial of Strength. The Trials, this was a good uh, sort of cycle of cards and they came with uh, Cartouches. This is Liliana's defeat. Yeah, we don't want that. That's too color specific. Yeah, I think it's just going to be the uh, trial here. Oh yeah, exert was a mechanic. Um, anyways, I did some sealed of this set back at the time. Exert get a one one warrior. Play the Soul Stinger. Oh yeah, minus one, minus one counters was a theme in this set. This is like the first set that kind of like really focused on that. There's a lot of minus one, minus one counter synergies. Though if we're combining it with... Maybe there won't be as many. Oh yeah, the Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. I like that card too. Um, I remember liking Soul Stinger. We'll try it. Try it out. Uh, cats were a theme, too. Deals combat damage to a player, untap target, creature, or land. Oh, that goes well with exert cards. I'll take the Initiate's Companions. Either that. Oh, that's Evolving Wilds. That's not a... I remember doing a couple, like... I did some drafts as well of this set. I remember, like, getting kind of goofy with it a couple times, getting, like, three-color stuff going on. Horror of the Broken Lands. Yeah, cycling was another theme in this. Ooh, this desert is good. What was good in standard? Put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. Cycle or discard another card. Well, that could be good, but only if we get a lot of cycling. We're, we're going to go more towards the minus one, minus one counter synergy, I think. I don't know if that's going to happen. Looks like green's open, by the way. Uh, it looks like black is, like, not really there. They're rating the mana maker. High? Okay. Hooded Brawler. Yeah, Exert means you keep it tapped. I'm going to go with the Hooded Brawler. Well, the Vitalist could wear... Like, we could put some minus one, minus one counters on it. And do that Dune Beetle. Yeah, just a... Two mana, one four. Oh yeah, this is where this Enigma Drake 
came from. Sidewinder Naga. As long as we control a desert or there's a desert in a graveyard. It's plus one, plus oh, and trample. I remember green being kind of aggressive. I'll have some stories to share at, at some point when I haven't lost focus completely. Uh, there's a cycle card. Is there a reason to go into another color here? The mill? I don't want to do mill. Camel. I see the camel being okay. I, I like... There's not a ton of artifacts in this set. There are some monuments that are really good. Ritualist to ramp. I think 2-4 is a decent stat line in this set. There's a sacred cat. Those are annoying to deal with. Maybe I'll grab a cat. I, I don't really remember caring too much about ramping stuff here. Uh, what is this? Can't block unless you control another zombie. Okay. Forsake the worldly, exiling an artifact or enchantment, and you can cycle it. We're going to take a solid creature. We'll take the solid creature. Onward to victory. Yeah, they had these uh, aftermath cards as well. You could cast the aftermath half out of your graveyard. So kind of good. I'm going to take the other Sidewinder Naga. Since we know we're green. If you control a tapped creature, create a 1-1 one, one vision. That, that seems decent. Blur of Blades, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. Okay. And a Cultivator, I'm a big fan of that. Hour of Devastation, I am a big fan of that. That is a sweeper. That was from, well, the Hour of Devastation set. Defiant Great Maw, enters battlefield, put two minus one, minus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever you put one or more minus one, minus one counters on Defiant Great Maw, you can remove something. Okay. There's our synergy piece. But I think maybe we're going to try and be green-red. I remember really liking green-red. Okay, so story. Uh, story time. Back around this era, Wizards was trying like this Sealed League event, okay? And basically how it started is like you'd start at the beginning of a month and you would get, you'd like buy three packs to start with to enter the Sealed League. You build your, a limited deck, you know, 40 card minimum, whatnot. Ooh, Chef It Monitor. I like this card. Uh, do I like anything else in this pack? Desert. Shed Weakness is cool, too. Oh, and Lethal Sting. Alright. Oh, but we're red-green, maybe. Uh, so, anyways. We had this Sealed League, and then, like, you could buy an additional pack every week. By the end of it, you, you'd end up with, like, seven packs or something. Maybe eight. I don't know. There might have been, like, a week you could get like two packs or something. I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but it was just like casual. You just play games. Uh, there was no like major prizes for, for doing it. It was, just, it was just a fun little limited thing to do. Uh, we do need a desert, don't we? I think we do. Do I need a desert for something? Yeah, we have two Sidewinder Nuggets. Let's, let's grab the desert here. Doomfall. Yeah, that was a card. Uh, but anyways, I remember the Sealed League I did. Like, my first three packs, I got Glorybringer and Ronus. And then, like, the fourth pack I got, I got a second Glorybringer. And I had, like, just a very solid red-green deck to pair that with. Oh my gosh. 
Everything we are trying to do is open. Um, wouldn't mind the Soul Scar Mage, but you guys know me. I cannot pass up removal. And Balm is also a thing in this, so this Magma Sprite exiling stuff is good. The Cartouche is good, too, because that can be a fight. We got some things that wouldn't mind fighting. I'll take the Cartouche. I have a joke to make with the Cartouche later. Oh, there's a desert. Beneath the Sands, Gilded Ceridon. I don't think we're, we're not black anymore, are we? I don't think we are. I don't think we are. I'd rather play the Hour of Devastation. Oh, and we get a red desert. Yep, that works. Crash through. Okay. Yeah, I think that... And you also, like, tracked your wins and losses. Not that it ultimately mattered or anything, but just, just for fun. And I think by the end of it, I had... I, I think I only lost, like, two games that entire month because my deck was just so ridiculous. Blur of Blades or a third Sidewinder Naga? Or Quarry Hauler? Oh, this can also remove minus one, minus one counter. Yeah, that's one of the synergy pieces we need. Feral Prowler. I know some people like this card. I was never the biggest fan of it. I would almost rather just take this. Though we are kind of lacking two drops. Oh, well, we grab the Desert Cerebon. That's fine. Another Quarry Hauler. Pursuit of Glory. Takrop Elite. All right. I'll take another Quarry Hauler. Shed Weakness. Sure. I think I'll cut these white cards. Oh, there's a... Two drop. I don't know if that's necessarily where we want to be. Giving things haste. I mean, th this kind of relates back to the uh, War Caller from Baldur's Gate. That you give a creature perpetual haste, but this time you have to have the creature in play in, in this. And maybe we can see the difference between the perpetual haste and the. Uh, Wow, wants me to take the black card. Splendid Agony. Distribute two minus one minus one counters. Maybe I shouldn't get two. But we've got decent two drops here. Splendid Agony with Bantu. I really don't think. And we have this desert as well. We can exile all graveyards. I think I'm going to take the two drop. The aggressive red two drop. Oh, what's this thing do? Exemplar of strength. Oh, yeah, you remove counters from. Yeah, this thing's good. We're going to grab that. Trial of Zeal. Yeah, this is what we wanted. Oh, and there's a cartouche in the back, too. Oh, and there's a desert that we want. But yeah, Trial of Zeal, great removal spell. You can even... Re What's great about these trials is they compare, they combine with the cartouches. So you play a cartouche, you have a trial out, you get to pick up your trials, all your trials, and uh, you get to replay them for just max value. The trials were all uncommons, and the cartouches were commons. I mean, that's a fine card, too, but uh, I, I definitely want to capitalize on this Cartouche and Trial Synergy because we have two Trials, and now we have two Cartouches. And we have nothing in this pack for us. Uh, there's no way I'm playing two of those. I guess I'll just 
uncommon draft. Where'd my colors go? Maybe it was just that pack. Life goes on. It sure does. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's a bit late to go into any other color. Ooh, Sun Scorched Desert. Oh, there's also the Thresher Lizard. Plus one, plus two, as long as you have one or fewer cards in hand. Not difficult to do. Yeah, I remember running this in uh, semi. And there's Puncturing Blow. The, ooh. Five damage to a creature if it would die exile. I think that's from Hour of Devastation, I think. I think that was like an answer to deal with like things like the Scarab God that you couldn't really get rid of easily. Oh, Firebrand Archer. I like this card too. That's going in. Uh, how would I build this deck? We have so many good cards. Or another Thresher Lizard. How's my how's my curve here? I kind of have a lot of three drops. I have the trials. All right. Blur of Blade. Yeah, I'll take another one of those. Nice removal. Well, this is a deck. We have to cut, like, a full mess of cards. Uh, why don't we just start by seeing what Draftsmith wants? Draftsmith is sometimes helping oh, Jund. We're not playing Jund. Now I'm going to do this three-color stuff. Gruul, near a thousand, that's that's always a good thing. Yeah, I don't think I want those either. He's a pollen, probably. So blades you don't want? I could see not wanting that. But not wanting removal? I guess maybe because minus one, minus one counter... Maybe that's just a little too low impact. But we have Query Hauler that can... Query Hauler, what else has minus one? That does. And Fire Brand Archer. That's any non-creature. It just pings an opponent. Two Trials, two Cartouches. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm kind of surprised... I guess I'm surprised most about the Blur of Blades. Oh, we are not using... those Junky Text Heavy Lands. Oh my gosh, all of the green added. I know I need to add. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, we're desert-themed, aren't we? Do I have any... Why don't I have Amon Catch Remaster? Whatever, we're using this one. No, that can't be right. Uh, we want more green sources. We definitely have more green in this deck. But we do have more... I was saying add eight because we have these double casters. Yeah, that does make sense. All right, we had what jumpstart? Do I have cool jumpstart? That's a cool jumpstart forest. Nothing to do with Amagat, but we'll go with it. Oops. We got a couple deserts. We got a chef at monitor that can like go fetch the desert if we want. Uh, what else do we have?
Haze of Pollen can be an interesting little trick. I feel Blur of Blades can be interesting. I think I'm satisfied just being... Yeah, Hour of Devastation kills all our creatures, too. It also removes Indestructible. Alright, let's try the deck like this. I don't remember there being a ton of one-toughness things in this set. I mean, okay, there's the Initiate's Companion. Okay, there's these things. Could always blur something in Query Hauler to kill. I mean, that's kind of a little bit of a janky. Come on, let's get into some games. Maybe I'll change my mind on that. Yeah, so I've done I've done like sealed and draft a few times of this. Uh, this was back when it like first came out. So I'm by no means an expert. Uh, which is also where I think the draftsmith. Like draft helper can help a little bit. Although it kept trying to push me into black when I saw the Hour of Devastation and still tried to put me into black. So it, it's not always perfect. Um, it always bases decisions based on like the stuff you've already picked. Anyways, Nerdy Noob is our opponent. Uh, Mythic rank drafter as well. Phenomenal starting hand. So we'll keep. He goes, ooh, this is neat. Can I... Does any of this interact? This is very Amiga. A little splashy there. It was an Egyptian-themed set. I don't think that's a good card. So it's fine if our opponent wants to play it. I like the sand that's like drifting across it. Okay, opponent is ramping. Ramping to who knows what. You can always like trial something, because then. Well, I need something to trial. We have trial, hooded brawler. Cartouche, we have a catch right. Oh, Spring to Mind. This was one of my favorite cards in this set. So Spring, and then, yeah, three mana get a land, and then uh, Mind, Aftermath, and, and Draw. Um, we can't really attack through unless I play the Trial. I also don't think I need to play the Trial right now. Does opponent want to trade? Probably not. I guess next turn I could attack. Or I could. Oh, I don't want a cartouche yet. Because we want to play the trial, get our maximum value, and then play the cartouche. There could easily be a mind here to draw two extra cards. I can't do anything about that. I was going to get some extra cards, but we're going to get some extra stuff too. River Hoopy. Gain two life and draw it. We're gonna trial that. That uh, that is not allowed to exist there. So, Firebrand Archer will ping them. Kill the River Hoopy. How do I want to go attacking here? Yeah, I'll offer a trade here if opponent wants to trade. I know they want to get to that six mana. Oh, yeah, you have the block and set. Yeah, that's fine. That's why we didn't exert.
All right, we have Query Hauler, but none of our Synergy pieces to go with it yet. The opponent can draw two extra cards. But yeah, that's your entire turn. I think I just play the camel. Do I exert for two extra points of damage? I don't think that's good yet. Play the camel. Target a permanent. Sure. I targeted it. Targeted it. it, it, it. Greater Sandworm. Oh my gosh. Three damage to any target. Good thing it's any target. Let's... I might be able to get the kill here. Three, what's that? Okay, so we're not going to cartouche the Firebrand Arch. That's going to be five. This will be five. Yeah, okay. Let's cartouche a douche. And this is going to fight that. And we get the trial back. Trial can hit anything. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Combat. So they have to block. Yeah, you have to block. Wait. Okay. That's dead. Yeah, there's some there's some big creatures in this uh, set, and they all like have cycling too, so you can cycle them away early if you don't. Uh, you know, I want to do exert the uh, thing. Opponent should have taken two extra damage there, but that's okay. Well, that's okay. We'll take care of this anyways. Uh, yep. Ornery Kudo. Kudos to you. And Sidewinder Naga. Oh, the minus minus one counters are red. Cool, I like that distinction. That is not going to save you from this onslaught. I also have Puncturing Blow. Play another... Play something with five toughness. Oh, we didn't get one of our deserts yet, so this doesn't have trample. Well, that's unfortunate. Are we killing the Firebrand Archer? It's kind of rude if you do. Wandering Death. River Whoopies coming back. So is the... Which can't play both of them. I think the Auto Tapper screwed you. Alright, Auto Tapper screwed you. You're dead. Go away. I have three attackers. You have two life. Yeah. I told you, red-green can be pretty aggressive. This was, this was a format I liked playing Red Green. Maybe just because of my double Glorybringer Ronus deck. Wasn't really anything good to puncture and blow there. Ellie, Ellie. We played this guy in Kaladesh. Perhaps multiple times. Ooh. Let's get our exemplar going right away. Opponent goes first. Opponent's playing blue slither blade. It can't be locked. Oh no. Get our desert going. 
And the deserts were nice because you could cycle them if you didn't need them. Okay, uh, that needs... Okay, whatever. We'll eventually... A riddle form. Oh, well, that thing has prowess. Well, I'm not blocking any of that. That's a gain of life, too. Ooh, shed weakness. That is a card. Oh, let's go attacking. The Entangler. Or do I just play the Hooded Brawler? Ah. Uh. Play the brawler. I can also play the query hauler. Remove. I kind of like the incremental life gain a little bit. Oh, cartouche douche. Oh, this is getting painful. Quenchful thirst. My thing isn't going to untap. Yeah, this whole thing needs to stop. Uh, if you control desert, okay, it just it's just an un not untapping thing. Oh, this actually gains. Oh, it does gain, but. I guess I have to shed weakness or exert no shed weakness fight that okay do I want to exert and do it now fine just doing six this turn I'm going to cast a non-creature that becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, gosh. I can't even Hour of Devastation this away. That's a flyer as well. We are most likely just dead. can also scry. Yeah, I can't do anything about any of that. Okay, so the Afflict guy, we kind of might want. That's how to do this. Uh, remove the counter. That doesn't gain me a life. Only when you get the attack. Riddle form, that's on top. Riddle form's active. Strategic, yep, Riddle form's active. That's a very aggressive blue deck. Why is the blue deck more aggressive than green-red? What the heck? Alright, do we have a way to stop riddle form nonsense? Well, I guess... You know, puncturing blow, or uh, was it puncturing? No, not puncturing blow. The, uh... The thing we do have... Blur of Blades, that could also stop the, uh... The one silly thing. Yeah, I don't know about this... Desert Ceridon. Like, I'd rather have a Blur of Blades. We'll try that card out. Cause we saw we saw two kind of nasty things there. That we would have liked to use blur on. <laughs> Ideally we would have magma spray, which deals with those. Uh, 
Uh, so, oh, the other thing, the, the cartouche, the cartouche douche catchphrase that I, I'm using. And so I came up with that. And then at my local game store, like, I said it, and then, like, some other people thought it was it was funny. And, and so then they said it started becoming, like, a whole thing. It was amusing. All right, what's not amusing is we don't have an opponent yet. We need an opponent. We need an opponent to feel our green-red aggressive push of everything. Sanity sucks. We're in... Okay, we're up against a platinum opponent. We put a counter on this and we remove it. I'm gonna keep. I, mean, I know we're not doing anything until turn three, but... We have four lands. We can cast all of this stuff. We have the desert in the... We have a trial. We need red. And we have red two drops, so... We might want this. Okay. Here's Cartouche. The opponent's going to go swinging here. So not exerting. Nope, opponent wants to exert. Okay, so exert means it's going to be tapped. And it's not going to untap on the next untap step. I also see that opponent did not cast anything. So this could be like removal for some creature we play. So let's not play a creature. And let's play a trial. And just get rid of this thing. Or it could be an Aven Mind Sensor. Yeah, this was this is a card. Oh, Cartusha douching. Hey, okay, Avona's whole hand is out there. Oh gosh, this is good. Four two. But we can't. Whatever we play is going to end up dying. Because that's going to exert. I guess if we don't want something to die. I should have played this trial. Problem is, we're, we're kind of stuck playing one card a turn against this aggro deck. I think I'm okay blocking the... Doesn't exert. Possibly a mistake. You have to, like, manually exert all of these. Could also possibly be a very damaging combat trick. All right, trial. We're not dead yet. In a block. Um, I think we just kill this. Wait, cartouche. How do I do it? I think we're gonna we're gonna do this. Because otherwise, cartouche we still would end up losing. Our Crocodile beast here. Horror just died to red white hyper aggro. Why can't we get two drops? Oh, 
Though I will say, I didn't mind the blur of blades there. Almost to where I want another one. It's four mana, four three was not super impressive. I will say that. All right, we're one and two. I don't feel like this deck should be that bad. I mean, Draftsmith gave it like a 965 or something. We just didn't have any two drops that game, and it was just too slow to play our stuff. Maybe I should have played the creature instead of... I wasn't guessing the Aven Mind Sensor coming. I still don't think what we did was a horrible play. They had a cartouche and like multiple. They played like three things that one turn after playing the uh, Mind Sensor. Whereas Mind Sensor on Dave have played two things. and That was where we needed our devastation as well. Nerd Herder 12. Alright. Blur of Blade. Okay, we found our two drops. We're on the play. Uh, we're going to play our desert first. We'll save this other desert for possible cycling. Start off with our Initiate's Companion. We now even have our Blur of Blades Quarry Hauler combo. So we could blur something with two toughness and then finish it off with the hauler. We're in for the long haul. I love the sand that's blowing across here. That's really neat. Oh, there's more water we can splash in over here. It's just uh, red water. Okay, there's a few different... Uh, textures here. They'll crush all the people in the city. Why aren't there people running around that we can crush? Anything else I can possibly interact with? Can I interact with this? I feel like I should be able to interact with this thing. The, uh, Bolas horns. That does not seem like it. Alright, well that took a while. We have a Thresher Lizard. I might have to play the desert just as is. Um, actually, what's cool... Enters tapped. We can do this. We blocks I Blur of Blades. Because I will like to trade... Yeah, trade my trick. Still get in for two damage on the blur. Okay, I, I like blur blades. I'm liking this card now. Now have the worthy. I'm not liking that card. That card has first strike. What is wrong with you, opponent? Shepherd monitor, thresher lizard will just be efficient. Cannot attack into a first striker here. What else does this thing do? Uh one or fewer cards in hand, Minotaurs, including himself, gets plus two plus O. Oh. Deals combat damage to a player, each player discards card. Yeah, we want to avoid that. Other Minotaurs have first strike. That's really bad. I can't deal with that. 4 3 with first strike? That just shuts me down. Well, next turn we're going to have the Chef at Monitor, and this can be, uh... Stop having 4-2 First Strikers.
I would have to, like, double block here. It would ultimately result in a trade here. Which I guess would be the result either way. We have removal. This card a card put a counter. Alright, well attacks are kind of stopped. At least momentarily. Well, maybe not. Because you could discard a card, put a minus one minus one counter on this, and then first strike kills it. I don't like that. Okay, so opponent has a pretty good black red Minotaur's deck, obviously led by Neheb. Oh, come on, let's not start this series off with 1-3. We have so many outs in our deck. Like, any of our removal. Cartouche? Uh, either we have two Cartouche, we have Puncturing Blow, we have Trial of Zeal. That's four cards that can put a stop to this thing. Which this thing is what needs to be stopped. I kind of want it to... Okay. That is scary. Discard one card. This isn't just whenever... Okay. Let's do it like this. Please tell me something dies here. Oh, this could be the plus two, plus O. Oh. Well, stuff would still die. Supernatural stamina. Wait, why did that get plus four? Oh, because you have no... Oh, gosh. So now everything gets plus two, an extra plus two plus zero because you have one or less. This is absurd. I can't beat this. We're getting attacked back for ten next turn. Put three minus one minus one counters on target creature you control. Oh, I can put it on. Does it matter? It really doesn't matter. Having a four four. Four, five, six, seven. That is eight, nine. I guess I got to do there. Gosh, this is awful. And of course, our all the removal we have is just nowhere to be seen. We got to double block the 6 3, and we're probably still dead. Oh my gosh. Stop. Opponent didn't do that. Can I? I can't kill Nahab. Oh, the Fetz kills us, too.
That's so gross. Couldn't find a single piece of removal that game. Very, very, this deck did not, was not as bad as how it performed. Just should not have been that bad. Wow. Yeah, we had the Hour of Devastation, Puncturing Blow, Trial of Zeal. Two, that's four pieces of removal that could have gotten rid of anything there. It just it, When your opponent's entire board has first strike, it's just a miserable time. Alright then, well, I guess for now I'll take my leave.